Alright, so good evening everyone. So by the way, I am Mr. Vicente Milon Kisay Jr., a BS in English 2 at the Negros Oriental State University, Shatton Campus. This is uh, my fulfillment of my course, BS in English 4, uh, uh, about uh, the children and adult literature. And then without further ado, let's start this um, analysis of the text. Um, at, at, a text entitled A Child's Reality of Santa Claus by Jose Holeco Quadra using uh, um, numerous verbal components. By the way, guys, I would like to say an advanced apology because I am using a script because I'm not really good at memorizing uh, some text. So the narrator is also a character in the story. So the text is written from the first uh, point of view, you can tell that the text is written from their point of view by the pronoun I and me, which were I used twice or were used twice in the text. This indicates the character's involvement and explicitly supported by the scene in the last section of the text where Jason or the another um, character fired his T squared at the narrator. Additionally, you can see from the story's introduction how plainly it is. I was playing uh, I was paying close attention to Tim as Jason sobbed. Tim, I want you to go to murder Santa Claus. This suggests that the work in the question was written in the first person. There are only two characters in the text, the narrator itself and the five years old called or named Jason where it is very visible. The speaker is direct or the narrator is direct. The narrator is uh, endorsing or advocating to the reader their social, moral, and political values. This will be handled more as we finish the tale setting. It's a little bit tough and the sole cue was a window. We are all aware that there are many buildings with windows right so but the good news is that jason and the narrator give us the impression that they are playing while holding a t-square a twist a t-square by the way is an engineering instrument that can be also be used at home or gardening or crafting and firing it like a pistol with this we can assume that the story was a set at home this uh, this is a brief narrative that uses fritags or I don't know how to pronounce it or fritags pyramids as its guide. Man versus society is the thing uh, is the theme of the narr narrative. The story is realistic because the scenes mirror real life events when the children play with their parents and there are occasions when adults have uh, epiphany connected to the current, of course. It's rules and norms versus protagonist attitude or viewpoint. In a situation like this, uh, the text is a narrative exposition because it describes the message the narrator wished to get across while plot moves steadily in the direction of killing Santa Claus. The increasing action began when Santa Claus was created, after which cunning or craftiness and deception arouse. The, narr the narrator I'm sorry, is open about the emotions he or she experienced because we really don't know if the narrator really is a man or a woman due to everyone's enormous and adoration for the eternal. There was an overwhelming impulse to the give, give gifts and everyone was aware of how doing so uh, would affect them personally. Several guys attempted to murder Santa Claus but were unsuccessful. The turning point came when Leonardo created a trigonometric plane which gave the rise to the relation function, angles and cur curves issues. However, after Leonardo's death, Santa Claus replaced planes and quadratic equations as their growth relation or as their religion, I'm sorry, with Christmas serving as the place of worship. When the narrator offers a solution, 
to arm the kids with these squares in the confidence that they should understand the first-hand knowledge of the planes of trigonometric functions. The next course of actions begins and, and angles and curves um, combined with the text publications results in the narrator's um, warning that the children will never be able to destroy Santa Claus. If they are unable to obtain interesting wisdom from the trigonometrical planes, the opening paragraph of the poem is full with metaphors. For example, the rose and fire represents passion and desire combined with risk or destruction. Class is a social norm. It is a form that point on a sense of goodness that has been dumbed down for kids. It has evolved or evolved into a children's representation of giving gifts and being good. Joyous person, it is uh, dividing us into a pleasant and wicked people. Go, uh, good people go to heaven uh, while evil people go to hell. Leonardo is a symbol of the Renaissance and a leader in application uh, of science to the arts, including music. Additionally, Kepler and Einstein are examples of areas where everyone should not understanding or should work understanding of Newton's stance for Rikers, the Purite. Puritans in Rikers and seem to be without a sexual relationship. The curves and the angles of trigonometry, various conditions in, in life, serves a function. Things the generosity focuses us to confront. Last but not the least, unless there is a shift within ourselves, within society, the T squares is application of information and wisdom gained from our schooling. We are unable to murder Santa Claus using our T-square e -square and the rapidity of our minds and bodies. The story's central idea is either waking us up to be warned or warning us that in life we must have a weapon to bring or to create to be more prepared for any circumstances and obstacles in life. Thank you.